I'd like to take a moment to thank you for watching my lecture series on women in the French Revolution. I hope you've learned something as we've looked at the French Revolution through the eyes of four different women. First of all, Marie Antoinette, this woman as victim, this tragic queen. Then at Olympe de Gouges, who was the woman as advocate, advocating for her own rights and equal rights for women. Then Mary Wollstonecraft, woman as vindicator, woman as defender, and taking up causes. And finally, Charlotte Corday, the woman as hero. And in looking at all of these four women, we can look at the importance of the French Revolution within the context of feminist history. And keep in mind that while the French Revolution was not a feminist revolution, I mean, after all, Napoleon rolled back the few rights that women did gain during the radical period, but it was a start. For the first time, you have women advocating for themselves, advocating for others, acting as heroes, and refusing to accept this victim mentality, okay, and just let themselves be rolled over like you saw what happened to Marie Antoinette. So keep in mind that while women began the French Revolution as villains, they walked away from it as heroes, and Charlotte Corday represents really what woman is capable of becoming and is kind of an icon of this new feminist movement that's going to materialize in the wake of the French Revolution. So keep in mind that while this was not a feminist revolution, it did set the stage for the feminist movement. If you've missed any segments of this lecture, hopefully you'll take a look at them. And if not, then great. Hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Visit my website, TomRitchie.net. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and all of that kind of stuff. And thank you for watching this lecture series. Until next time.